Good evening, welcome back to World of Tanks, it's Jaeger 262, and I wanted to cover the black market event from yesterday's video again. Now, I didn't have all the details yesterday, but I do have, I think, the majority of them down. Essentially, what this is, is a seven-day event, this being day six. We're at eight in the morning, they will release a low-tier, very rare premium vehicle. And then at 8 p.m. at night, they will do the high-tier one. Now, that's to kind of help people with, either if you're a collector, it doesn't really matter, but if you're new to the game, obviously you don't have the 23 credits for the vehicle you see in front of you right now. But the idea is that you'll have enough credits to buy the low-tier ones. Like, the one I was showing you was the FCM. That was only about 3 million, so it balances it out. Now, the reason I wanted to make this video is not to give you those details, but for all World of Tank fans, uh, new to the game or not, seeing the FV215B183 in the game again was just mind-boggling to me. Now, this vehicle was removed from the game in favor of the Tier 10 Badger, which is the heavy British tank destroyer that's there now, because it was too OP. And essentially, the reason for that was what this little blurb about it says right here. It doesn't shoot too often, but if it hits a target, it's as good as dead. This vehicle used to be known, and is still known affectionately as, the Death Star, for its ability to one-shot opponents. And the reason it could do that so effectively is its 183mm L4 cannon. I mean, just look at this thing, it's a monster. It's not a vehicle I ever thought I would see in this game again. Certainly not a vehicle I thought I would see for sale. I mean, before I get into just the details on this vehicle, what's so amazing to me in this event, and why I really want to follow it, and I hope you guys follow this event too, is they are selling some of the rarest vehicles I have ever seen. Yesterday's evening one, which I am so upset I missed, it was beyond unbelievable, even though now this one obviously trumps it, was the Type 59 Gold. The Type 59 is a Chinese Tier 8 Premium medium tank. Now for people who are unfamiliar with that because they haven't been in the game as long or haven't seen them, it is super rare. It had a limited release on World of Tanks, and the Gold one was a special event vehicle in Asia first, which covered a really nice gold dragon design on it, made the whole tank a shiny gold color, and saw a very limited release. I forget what you had to do to get it in the West, but it was something ridiculous. So almost no one has them, and they were selling it, and I couldn't believe I missed it. I didn't know that there were time limits on it, and it sold very quickly. And in fact, if I go back to the store now, as you can see, there's 2,100. When I logged on, there was 3,300. And so I've only, this sale has been going on for 33 minutes now. So in 33 minutes, they've sold about 1,200 vehicles. That's crazy. This thing's moving pretty fast, and it should. It's a tier 10 premium tank. Now, this is special because it's tier 10. Now, there's a couple of tanks that have been retired from the game permanently that get a premium status for anybody who had them before their removal. This is one of those vehicles. The reason it's crazy is that for 23 million credits, you can buy a tier 10 premium. Not just a rare tank like the Type 59 Gold, a tier 10. And I've never seen that done in World of Tanks before. Obviously, I've seen, yeah, I know they do the campaign rewards. You can't buy those, but some people sell accounts with them. That's the only thing I've ever seen that was close to actually just buying four credits a tier 10 tank. And it is incredible to even fathom. Now, before I get into any more freaking out about just how cool it is to see this tank again, I'll give you some of the stats on it and why it's so powerful. Rate of fire is 28.76 seconds, or about two rounds a minute. And on its average, on its standard round, it does 310 pen, 230 on its premium, which I think it fired heat, and then 92 on its high explosives. And respectively, that is 1100 average damage, 1700 average damage for the next two shells. That is crazy. It gives it a whopping 2300 average damage a minute, which is not really that high compared to other tier 10 vehicles in the game. But when you're firing two rounds a minute, or about 10 to 15 rounds a game, that adds up. 
And this thing is amazing. That's why it was called the Death Star. There were very few, if any, vehicles that this tank had to one sh had to fire at more than once. Sorry, I got ahead of myself. More than once to kill it. It almost always one shot all opponents that it came across. It was an absolute beast. And while I'm not going to pick one up, and I might regret not picking it up because I really don't know what they're going to do next, but 23 million credits is a lot even for me. I'm just an average player. I don't have any tier 10s, but I would love to own this tier 10. I just want to have a little bit more than 20 million credits left over in case tomorrow's vehicles are even better. And the reason I say that is, with the addition of the Death Star into this black market event, I don't think that World of Tanks or Wargaming is limiting itself to what they're going to put on here. And there's one vehicle that I'm sure everybody's thinking about when I say that and when they see a tier 10 tank destroyer for sale. And that is the Waffenträger E100. The most powerful tank in the game when it came out. And despite all the nerfs, still had the largest DPM of any tier 10 before its removal. Of course, so many tanks have come and gone. I really don't know which one's the best at tier 10 anymore. But it was an auto-loading tier 10 tank destroyer. And it was amazing. And the only reason I bring that up is not just because the Death Star is here in front of you, but because on the Asian server, I think four or five months ago, the E100 started popping up for special sales. And while the North American server doesn't have anything like that yet, where you can just buy tier 10s for a lot of money, this special black market event is clearly, clearly what they're trying to do is that sort of special vehicle condensed to seven days, condensed to only two buying periods a day, 8 a.m. and 8 p.m., but still is generate a market for very powerful, very rare premium vehicles. And I just, I couldn't believe they were going to sell a tier 10. I had no idea. I didn't know if anybody else out there knew they were going to be selling a tier 10, but this is crazy to me. And so I'm sorry if this video seems kind of rushed. If I'm stumbling over words and everything, it's just, I saw this, I wanted to get it out, especially before the sale ended, even though I probably won't buy it. Hopefully there will still be some for sale for the time you, you guys watch this video. And I hope you guys either pick this up or follow the black market event with me over the next five days because I really feel like we could see some incredible vehicles. Hopefully, the Waffenträger E100. That's the one I'm going for. But, the uh, sky's the limit. I expected this event to have things like the BTSV, which just came out as a premium bundle again, or the Panzer II J the Mutant, the E25, vehicles like that. OP vehicles that were removed from the game for being too OP, but they were premium anyway, so it didn't matter. But I never expected retired vehicles like the Death Star to make the roster. Now, any vehicle at all from World of Tanks first beta in 2010 is on the table to be sold in the next five days for ridiculous amounts of credits. So, if you're not going to buy this one, hit those credit boosters, start playing. I got some premium time from one of the D-Day missions. Start racking up credits because they're going to sell some really, really special stuff. I mean, this vehicle alone is incredibly special, and I can't believe that it's in the game again. It's a piece of World of Tanks history, and I hope you guys get a chance to pick one of these up or one of the other very special vehicles in the next five days. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want any notifications or alerts, for the next time I do a black market video, and I probably will be making one each day for the high tier crowd. I don't really care about low tier premiums, but I will mention them offhand. Like yesterday was the Pack 40 FCM, and today's was the Sexton 1, a very powerful artillery piece at tier 3, and the only artillery piece in the game to still have armor piercing rounds. I believe it's the only one anyway. But I'll probably just be covering the high tier ones, or ones that I buy. So. Please subscribe to the channel for notifications on those. And as always, your support is much appreciated. I love this game. I love all the games I cover. And I look forward to interacting with people in the comments section below or actually online. So please let me know if you picked one of these up or if you already had one, if you like it. Or if not, please tell me vehicles that you hope World of Tanks sells in the next five days or vehicles you really want to see. My number one is, again, the Waffenträger E100. Let me know what you're...
As always, thank you so much for your support, and see you next time.